and demo the Eclipse debugger for Java. So here's a little Java program. Uh, as you can see, I declared a sum variable in this line, then the next line, the for loop, i goes from 0 to 100. We add up the sum, and then at the end, we print out the sum. So I can run this program, print out the sum. It's fine. It works fine. But let's say you there was some problem with this program, and you wanted to debug it. The first thing you have to do is you set a breakpoint. You see, I have one already here. A little blue dot is a breakpoint. The way you set that up is you go to the line you want. Let's say I want it over here. I'm going to go right click and toggle breakpoint. Now I have a breakpoint there. I can erase this one. Disable that one, or I can get rid of it. So I actually want to put the, that. Put that back there, and I'm going to get rid of this one. So once you set up the breakpoint, the breakpoint is where the program is going to stop. Um, once you do that, then instead of running it with this button, you're going to press this button, the debug button. Press that, and then it's going to tell you this, and um, basically it's telling you that it's going to open the debug perspective, and that's what you want. So you say yes. I'm going to say remember my decision. Yes. So it won't ask me again. Now everything changes, you see. Um, so what we have here, here, this is the call stack, which you know, after you play it, you, you learn a little more about it. But basically, main calls main, calls thread, calls main.main. .main. This is where you are. You can sort of ignore that for now. Close this. This is the program, and it tells you the line you're in. See, this is the breakpoint, and we, that's where we are. So the program stopped running at that line right there. So what you can do is you can go up here and you have these two buttons, the step into and the step over button. You can click on the step over button and we're going to move to the next line. So step over means do this line. Um, and if that line was a, was a function, uh, it was calling a method, it would just step over that method, just do the whole method and go to the next line. So step over basically means go to the next line. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to step over each time you click it, you go one more line. And you can see up here are the variables. So these are all the variables we have. We really only have the three variables, args, sum, and i. And here are their values. As you click here again, you move up there, move there. Now i is 1. Now the sum is 1. We added 1 to the sum. We're in the next line. So we haven't done this line. We're about to run this line. I click over it, then I do that line. I move to this next line. So now i is 2, and the sum is still 1, and so on. So every time you click there, you go and move to the next line. So most of the time, you're going to set a breakpoint, stop, run it, look at these variables here. We only have two, but for bigger programs, you'll have, of course, many variables. And most of the time, you just look at these variables, and you'll see, oh, I know that this should have been 5, and that's the problem. And you realize what the problem is, and you go and fix it. So uh, we, uh, oftentimes, this is all we need, just to look at the variables and see what's wrong. But sometimes you need to step through a couple more spaces. Uh, another thing you can do is you can click over here at the value. And you can actually change this uh, at runtime. So I can say, OK. Uh, I'm going to make i77, and then I'm going to keep running. So this is useful, again, sometimes for debugging. If you want to put in a value there, uh, maybe from user input. And you can do that as many times as you want. That's done. OK, and then once you're done, if you want the program to go keep running again, so rather than step through, you say, OK, run. You click here, is it the resume? And that will run the program. And in this case, it finishes just fine. It prints out the sum, which is now going to be different. Um, and that's it. So we can close this. Once you're done, you're still in this view here. The way you get back to Java is by clicking up here. You see, we're in the debug perspective. 
if we click here, then now we're back to the Java perspective. I put away my folders, but they're right there. Um, and you can go back and forth as you want. You can just click on the perspective that you want.